direction. Come now to question number four in the name of the Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker. Honourable Annette King. What savings, if any, have been made in her portfolio since she became Minister in light of the Government's aim to improve the value for money of the public service? The Honourable oh, Bill English. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Social Development and Employment, this Government has an unrelenting focus on delivering better outcomes for taxpayers. I am working with chief executives to achieve greater efficiencies within my ministries, and I expect savings may be made in the, in the process of the budget round. Mr. Uh, supplementary the question, Honourable Mr. Annette Speaker. King. Is a saving under consideration to delay or freeze the rollout of full funding to NGOs over the next three years, which was part of the Pathways to Partnership program brought in by Labor and funded over those three years. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr Speaker, I understand the Department is in discussion with uh, NGOs over a range of issues, particularly the, come, the problem arising for many NGOs where private sources of funding are drying up. The Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker, I, I will take that as a yes and say to the Minister, how can this government, which campaigned on public-private partnerships, be believed if their first casualty of their razor gang will be the NGO sector, which provides services to New Zealanders in a partnership arrangement already at bargain basement cost to taxpayers, but they are going to be squeezed first when they can find money to give to business. The Honourable Bill English. Well, the member should actually start her questions with a question word instead of a statement. Uh, the government is. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Bill English. Mr. Speaker, the member didn't ask, start the question with a question word and should be asked to ask it again. In this, in this place, the member well knows that things go tit for tat. Uh, the, the minister didn't exactly answer the question the member asked, and uh, therefore she assumed an answer. The minister then, in answering, when he got a further supplementary, invited interjection because of the way he started to answer the question. I think it's about all square. I invite the minister to answer the question. Well, Mr Speaker. Well, I didn't break standing orders. The Honourable Bill English. Government has sent a clear signal that taxpayers' money should be spent effectively and that spending will be restrained over coming years. We are working in constructive partnership with a whole range of groups who will be affected by the change in the external environment, and they are all being much more constructive than the opposition. The on uh, Todd McClay. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what programmes has the Minister seen that demonstrate the previous Government's approach to delivering value for money? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, I can inform the Member that the Minister recently visited a programme set up under the last Government where children were taken out of school for six hours a week to pat dogs in the animal shelter providing animal therapy. Uh, whether that's to the children or the dogs, I'm not sure. The parents and the children involved were as mystified about the outcomes of this government-funded program as the minister was. I can assure hard-working New Zealanders that under a national government, such spending will not continue. The Honourable Annette King. Is one of the savings a directive to the staff of work and income not to use the 7.5 kilometre Northern Gateway toll road unless there's an emergency, thereby spending $6 in additional travel costs to save the $2 toll, not forgetting the extra travel time, and applying this approach to her value for money exercise, would it result in even greater expenditure? The Honourable Bill English. I can, assure the, uh, I can assure the member the ministers have given no such direction because they are, focused on, they are focused on the substantial job of cleaning up the mess left by that government. 
and ensuring that the ensuring that the one billion dollars now spent on running MSD and and the grant programs is going to be spent effectively over the next three to five years.